all about getting out and learning what the outdoors is. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shooting channel with me, Alex Sayer. First up, let's welcome our special guest for this evening, the chairman of the CPSA, Mr John Martin. This weekend saw the conclusion of the CPSA's major championships for 2020. And as always, we kept the best for last and held the British Open Sporting and Sport Trap at Garlands. David Ferriman won the title after a shoot-off with George Digweed. George said afterwards that it was good to see some new names starting to appear on the trophy. Uh, Tanya Folds took the ladies' title on 68, just pipping Amy Eastman and Hannah Gibson, who both finished on 67. So there we have it. The end of our COVID-constrained championship season. And yes, it was different. We had to make compromises and changes. We had to cancel all of our selection shoots and all of the home international championships but we managed to reorganise and stage a remarkable number of events. The whole structure of clay shooting almost lends itself to social distancing and COVID compliance. The reality was that we could get back to our competitions in a very similar way to that in which we'd always staged them. Yes, we had one-way systems. Yes, we had signs reminding people about social distancing. We had sanitation stations and our staff had to wear face shields when booking people into competitions. But hey, DTL could have been designed for social distancing. No one really socialises at a serious skeet competition. And in English sporting, you put a shooter in a stand and then you all stand back and watch them. We will always work within the government guidance, but we've learned a lot this year and we have a structure in place and the experience to kick off next year and run our competitions as near to normal as we possibly can, whatever fate may fling at us. So for now, everyone, good shooting. And until we meet again, stay safe and stay sane. Thanks for that, John, really informative. And it highlights how ideal our sport is at these times. If you aren't a member of the CPSA already, head over to their website. In terms of competitions for youngsters, remember the Schools Challenge, which gives young people the chance to get safely involved with guns, make friends and get outdoors. It also helps them to concentrate and to focus. Do tune in into our Thursday feature here at half past seven. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and that way you can keep up to date with the latest shooting conservation news. There's more for the young shots with Basque. Obviously we know how important it is to get young people involved with the sport, so let's make the most of the opportunities that this industry is providing. Here's the winners of the Scholarship Legacy Programme, Charlie Newman and Hannah Thompson. Nearly half of the applicants choose a conservation-themed course, others gamekeeping. Speaking of conservation, the figures are out for the hen harriers and I can confirm in no uncertain terms that this year saw 19 successful hen harrier nests producing over 60 chicks. This is a fourth increase in a row and 12 of these nests were on grouse moors. As we know, recording is of vital importance and as the wild fowling season begins, Basque are asking us to send wings to them so they can analyse them and find out information. The survey originally ran from 1972 to 2001 and is now in revival. And there's the new Working for Wildlife from the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust, which seeks to reverse the decline of British wildlife and raise awareness of the land managers that do so much that goes unnoticed. If you'd like to support them, please do sign the pledge. As always, I'll put links in the descriptions for you. And let's not forget, the next day out, Faustian Stony Creek Day, which I mentioned last week, the ones with the special camo. That's coming to the Oxford Gun Company on the 25th and the 26th of September. If you've got any events that you'd like advertising on this channel, or anything that you'd like me to report, please do get in contact. Alex at theshootingchannel.co.uk well, that's all from me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, everyone, and thank you for watching.
share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done. And it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.